This is Twit. The, the decision to postpone the James Bond movie mm. until <laughs> next spring at the earliest means that movie theaters, which have just been hanging on, hoping they could make a little bit of money with James Bond, are now thinking, uh, it's over. In fact, uh, two of the biggest movie chains in the U.S. and the U.K. Uh, are kind of Regal and Cineworld are apparently planning to close all theaters in the U.S. and the U.K. next week. And the question is, how long can AMC hold out? Uh, I yeah. wonder if this Borat, you know, if, I mean, how, the, there was initial hope. Remember when Trolls World Tour came out? I don't, but I hear that when, <laughs> <laughs> if you had kids, like you know. Leo. Uh, that's how I mark time, actually. Absolutely. Days Trolls World Tour. Yeah, yeah. So that was one of the first movies that came out during COVID, during quarantine, and they streamed it and 20 bucks a pop, and it did pretty well. And I think the Hollywood said, oh, thank God we can charge 20 bucks kind of make some of our money back through streaming and then that was it it was completely mm -hmm. flatlined and notice you don't see those 20 dollars rentals very often anymore there are very few first run movies uh, available to stream it's uh terrible but the it's movie really companies bad. have been doing the oh go on oh, sorry the movie companies have been doing this for a while surely there was a, a thing a couple of years ago where you could pay an exorbitant amount of money and provided you had the yeah, right kit only in your a house. handful of people would do that. Yeah, but I mean, this seems, cinemas are currently, I mean, I, I hate it because our local cinema is really good and it's struggling, but, you know, cinemas are dead, basically. You can't socially distance in a cinema and expect that to be an, an, an economical business. So surely it's in Hollywood's interest to set up some kind of system where you can do these sort of things. I think they're just so worried about IP protection that they're going to let the whole thing burn rather than actually go for a sensible solution. I think that solution. may be it. Disney's charging $30 to watch Moonland on Disney+. Plus. I can't imagine anybody paying that. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Leo, I said that on Twitter and I was absolutely destroyed by yeah. parents of young kids who said, look, we were going to go see it in the theaters anyways. It was going to be a hundred dollars plus That's a true. babysitter. That's now true. That's 30 bucks. And I was like, all right, parents. All right. All right. They're like throwing tomatoes at me. It was brutal. Well, they're saying like that, but it has not propped up the movie industry. Now, remember mm -hmm. uh, Tenet, uh, which was a very hotly anticipated film. I couldn't wait to see Christopher Nolan's newest. Uh, it was an IMAX movie. It did all right globally, $300 million worldwide, did terribly in the U.S. And in fact, in this past week, it was beaten by the re-release of Hocus Pocus. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I that's embarrassing. That is, a, a, that rocks. B, I think all the movies that we're talking about here, like Mulan and uh, Tenet, these are like hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollar movies. I, I feel like those are the ones that could draw in the most eyes on streaming, but also are the ones that are going to struggle the most to make back their money because they were so freaking expensive to make. Rightfully so, because people need to get paid. But it's just, uh, it's such a tricky situation. They and really didn't want to release Tenet on streaming because it was shot for yeah. IMAX. They really thought maybe the time has come to release a movie in the theaters. People will go back to the theaters. Um and they were, I guess they were wrong, at least the in the US. It was the guinea pig, right? Yeah, it was the guinea pig. Like, it was the one that was out there. Like, let's try it, see how it works. And it did not work. And in the US, I don't know. I don't know when I could imagine going back to a theater myself. Um, no, I don't care so. how good a movie is. I'm not going to risk my life to see it. Yeah. yeah. No, no yeah. film is worth that. But here, here's my here's my hope. I really hope we this brings back more like $75 million movies that might work in streaming. I feel like we had this, like, Everything had to be an enormous blockbuster. All film budgets were like two, mm -hmm. three hundred million dollars. Everything had to have this enormous marketing campaign, television ads, Chevy tie-ins, terrible music. And it became this enormous production because everyone was betting on these kind of like Avengers style hits or Avengers scale hits. Bring back smaller movies. You know, well, that's kind of what I Disney mean, you know, did. They had this movie. Like it only cost uh, 25 million to make in 27 years ago. Starred Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy <laughs> as witches. They said, well, let's re-release this poorly reviewed 27-year-old horror movie. And? It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> it earned for one, knowing what Hocus Pocus is. It was in 2,570 theaters. It earned $1.9 million. Oh, man. But you see, Ouch, there, there is wow. a, a school of thought. Yeah. 
there is a school of thought this could lead to a real resurgence in the British film industry because we've always kind of focused on Made making cheap, crappy fun. movies. Yeah. I was about to say economical and very, very well produced Prestige movies. movies. With lots of backgrounds and soft cushions and some nice English accents and the rest of it. But, you know, why spend $100 million on a movie when you can do a pretty good movie for three to five mil and, you know, make your money back on the streaming side of it? I'd, I'd love, you know, the, these sort of smaller, I smaller things. I think the thing is streaming services like Netflix are doing that. I think the bigger studios might have the problem unless they're like a Disney who has their own streaming platform um, because that's where the audiences are. So Netflix can release like a thousand cheap movies and people will watch them because they already have Netflix. But unless you have a deal with a streamer, then you don't have a way to distribute that movie except to do the $30 rental and that kind of thing. 